you are not an indigenous person. Uh, I appreciate that you're self-aware about the implications of taking on such a project as a non-indigenous person. Can you, yeah. for those listening, how did you reconcile that fact and, and how did you go forward? I still haven't, I'm still developing ulcers about it right to this moment. You know, mm -hmm. it's a difficult thing to navigate, not just to take on that project. You know, what right do I have to, to write about this? But also then the book is done, then you're promoting it. That's another like minefield. It's like sometimes I'm being interviewed about the book by a white journalist. I'm a white guy. There's no indigenous person in the room. I don't want to be uh, speaking on anybody's behalf. And so when I composed this book, I really was intent on letting the contemporary performers who I spoke to speak for themselves without me interpreting. So when you read the book, you'll see the majority of the modern comedians that I talk to, I'm not interfering. I'm not really editorializing. I'm not even talking much about their life. They are talking about their life. And in many of the chapters, you'll see and hear from performers who contradict each other or who have a different belief system or whatever. And so that is intentional to exemplify the div diversity among different indigenous communities throughout the United States, Canada, wherever, without me filtering it through the prism of this white author, you know. Yeah.